Good afternoon. I'm the One Nation candidate for Flynn, Sharon Lowes. This afternoon I'd like to speak with Malcolm Roberts, our lead Senate candidate on the um, Queensland ticket, to talk about the electricity, the high electricity prices which the people of our communities are asking about. Why are electricity prices so costly? Well it's a big issue everywhere Sharon, right across Queensland, right across Australia as most people know. It's a really simple reason that, that drives the main price increases. Most people would understand that 20, 30 years ago the state governments were responsible for electricity generation, reliability and price. And the way our constitution is set up, it's a wonderful document. It's set up for competitive federalism. So if any one state improves their taxation, reduces their taxation markedly, or improves their services dramatically, then people come to that state. Yes. So what happened was we had each state responsible for electricity prices and reliability. And there was one person responsible in each state, the Minister for Electricity or Energy or whatever they were called. And their focus was to drive down the price of electricity to be competitive with other states. So the system focused on driving down the price of electricity and making sure it was reliable. Then what the Liberal Labor governments did over many years, they brought in privatisation and corporatisation. They took our assets, like the Gladstone Power Station, and corporatised it, which means they, they kept government ownership, but they put a board of directors over the top of it. So they set it up as a, a money-making venture a profit-making venture, all right? Or they sold it off to private companies. And some of those private companies are Chinese-owned. Some of them are American-owned or got significant American shareholders. So we lost control of our taxpayer-funded assets and we lost control of an essential service. So they privatized and corporatized. So when they did that, they put in place a board. Now, a board is focused on maximizing profit. That's what it's got to do. Yes. So, what that means is the board's focused on maximizing the price. So that's why we now have high prices and unreliable supply. Because the boards are focused on maximizing price. So we swap from a system driving down the price of electricity with reliable supply to a system that's driving up the price of electricity with unreliable supply. Now the unreliability came because the governments took more interference. You've heard of the national electricity market. Yes. Well, that's another screw-up from the Labor and Liberal government, governments in the past 20 or 30 years. It was initiated by Labor, I think under Keating, ramped up under Howard, and put on steroids by Rudd. Now, it's not a national electricity market, it's a national electricity racket. Because it's not a, a competitive market, it's run by rules that are controlled by bureaucrats. That is not a market. It's a racket. So what happens even worse than that, Sharon, is some of the players, some of the generators, they then play the game, and it's called gaming the market. And so they withhold power, drive up the price, and then they come in and supply power. That's the, that's the second one. The third one is the renewable energy target. Yes. The renewable energy target is really a, a target for uh, intermittent energy, and it's not reliable. And that's what's put a huge drain on the reliability. An interesting thing about the um the uh, subsidies for solar panels. I have um, people in the communities coming to me and saying they'd never afford their electricity bill if it wasn't for the subsidies of their solar panels on their roof. Yep. What do you say about that, Malcolm? Well, what happens is the cost of uh, electricity from solar cells and also from wind turbines is much, much higher than the coal-fired power station or hydropower or nuclear power, much higher all around the world. And so what happens is they need to be subsidised. Yes. So the people who have solar panels on their roofs are being subsidised by people who don't have solar panels on their roofs. And that's usually the poor. So what we've got is Robin Hood in reverse. We're yes. stealing from the poor and giving to the middle class and the wealthy in this country. And, uh, and, and we're also giving it to overseas companies that own some of the solar projects and the wind farm projects. And this is nuts. So. We want to end all large-scale solar subsidies and all large-scale wind subsidies, yes. but we want to keep in place the home-based um, solar subsidies because people have made a contract on that basis. But the point is that this, the third factor increasing price of electricity is those subsidies that we pay for, okay? The fourth factor is that our poles and wires, our networks for distributing electricity, are put up on a, a, a set up on a cost plus basis. So if you want to replace a pole, then the way that company 
sometimes it's a government corporation makes money is they have cost plus so if it costs so much to put up a, a new pole yes then they get paid that plus a little bit more so, and so the poles and, and wires are what's known as gold plated they're overdone because that's the way they make their money by replacing those putting them in where they're not needed the, the fourth factor is um, I'm trying to think of that now the renewable energy target oh that's right the guaranteed supply guaranteed returns for retailers and in New South Wales some of the retailers are guaranteed a return of 26 percent think about that when you're paying your power bill so that's what's driving the price and the low reliability so there's something else we need to talk about and that's the health and safety in Kilcoy and Warwick there are farmers protesting the taking of land prime agricultural land and giving it to selling it to Chinese owned corporations other corporations one to do with the University of Queensland and Warwick Chinese in the case of Kilcoy and what that does is it converts high productivity agricultural land including tillable land not just prime beef country Sharon but it converts that to low density low productivity high cost uh, solar panels and and that drives the use of land negative all right and in the case of that Kilcoy one as well we've got the situation where it's placed near a water course near a significant water course so if we have damage <laughs> during a weather event um, the leaching of that could cause um, major water contamination so the whole project hasn't been thought through and how has it been pushed through without legislation being applied to it she's right she's right we've listened to the farmers Pauline and I have been up there with Steve Dixon Sharon's been there uh, and, and what we've seen is that these farmers are concerned that they're placing these solar panels in a, a flood zone and mm. they'll be under five or so meters of water and so what comes out of solar panels is a toxic chemicals like um, cadmium and lead and there's also lithium in some of the batteries they've got there they will have there and what we've got in that that placement is 10 kilometers of a solar industrial complex and that is going to be subsidized too so we've got to toxic so um, cadmium and lead potentially leaking out of those mm -hmm. plus they're built in they will be built in, a, in an area that's vulnerable to, to storms storms yes so we've got hail coming down smashing these things more more toxic chemicals but that's not the end of it the toxic chemicals then flow into the creek then flow into the Brisbane River into into Wyvernhoe Dam and Brisbane, a city of one and a half million, gets its water supply from Wyvernhoe. So does the Gold Coast, so does Ipswich, so does the city of Logan. This is just a recipe for disaster. Mm. People haven't thought, thought through these things. It's just like a typical green thought bubble. It's free, it's an all the rest of it. It's more expensive and it's toxic. And the third thing, Sharon, about the Kilcoy and Warwick uh, solar installations is that we're going to be paying subsidies to companies to do this in the case of Kilcoy a Chinese company. company so here's the go we take our prime thermal coal power station coal and we send it to China because of the subsidies in this country on 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 solar and wind coal is now is now much much higher electricity costs sorry are much much higher which means that the, the Chinese use our coal to generate cheap electricity which steals our jobs yeah. the second thing is that we send our prime quality metallurgical coal, our coking coal for making steel and also for making, which goes into wind turbines, and also for making uh, solar panels. Yes. And that is then shipped back to us where it is subsidized and the Chinese are making a fortune out of that, that solar and wind turbines. And then we pay the Chinese company, as we will pay the Chinese company a subsidy, subsidy. to install it and run it. Yeah. And so what we're doing is we're driving our country out of business. We're exporting industries, we're exporting jobs, and we're all doing this for the Greens. Mm. Now this would be akin, Sharon, to the Japanese in 1942 dropped bombs on, on Darwin Harbour and Darwin, okay? That would be akin to Prime Minister Chifley, I think it was then, or Chifley or Curtin, sending a, a, a letter to the Japanese government and saying, hey, to help you pay for your bombs that are destroying our country, we'll send you a cheque because that's what we're doing we're sending checks to the Chinese, Chinese. companies mm. to subsidize their solar panels that are going to drive jobs to their country Chinese are making out wonderfully on this and they're not doing anything wrong it's us that are stupid so and also and that other point is we're using up agricultural land that has to be for our food production yeah. so we're also causing our food prices to increase because yeah. of that 
And, and look, look at that power station. What's coming out of this chimney? Can't see anything. There's, yeah, there is, there is stuff coming out of that chimney. It's carbon dioxide and water vapour. And the rest of the, the real pollutants, carbon dioxide not a pollutant, the real pollutants are being scrubbed. Nitrous oxide, sulphur dioxide and particulates. And that's because of our technology. So this is generating clean power with clean, high efficiency coal from nearby in the central, in, in the Bowen Basin. So this is all because of the Greens. The Greens make promises, but they don't do their thinking. The Greens tell lies. And what's happening in this country is the Greens set the agenda through this, to comply with the United Nations. And then the Labor Party says, we need your preferences, Greens. So the Labor Party then starts pushing the Greens policies. And then the Liberal Party says, oh my God, we'll list out in preferences. So we'll start pushing, and so you can see what happens then. Yeah. And we're the only ones with the guts to stand up and tell the truth. And so this is why your constituents and our constituents around Queensland are hurting. Yes. And it's a simple matter. Our policy in One Nation is to get out of the UN's Paris Agreement, to end the subsidies for large-scale, industrial-scale solar farms, solar, well they're not farms, they're solar complexes and also wind turbine complexes, and to remove all the climate rubbish because there's no evidence that our carbon dioxide is, is hurting our planet. And one further thing, this deceit is funded by taxpayers. You're paying the subsidies that'll put coal out of business. You're also paying this, the ABC. And the ABC takes, takes power stations where they've got cooling towers showing steam and they pretend that's co carbon dioxide. They imply that's carbon dioxide. The ABC has been told it's, it's misleading. The ABC eventually admitted it's misleading, but the ABC continues to do that. So you p see pictures of, of water vapor billowing around and people think, my God, there's carbon dioxide everywhere. Carbon dioxide is in invisible. This is full of deceit, dishonesty, and it's to steal your money. And we're gonna stop that. Thank you. You're welcome.